Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and welcome to video number three of the lab. So in this video we're going to take a look at Mark's serve. Now Mark says he's quite an advanced player and that he has most of the technique correct. He's just lacking a little bit of power. He wants a little bit more out of the serve. So let's take a look at his video. So Mark's serve is quite good technically, he has all the fundamentals in place more or less. However, the, the big thing that I notice is his right foot. And this is at the start of the serve and also when he reaches that trophy position. So let's go out on court and take a look at what I mean. So Mark obviously has a bit more of an advanced serve. You can see that he has most of the fundamentals in place, but he wants a little bit extra on top of what he's already got. Now the main thing that stands out for me are the legs and in particular the right foot and the right leg. So what's that right foot doing? So the start of the serve you can see that his back foot, the right leg, is quite far around to the left side of the court. So Mark's back leg is quite far around this way where it's almost like the alignment is going this way and the body momentum from this foot being so far around is more going towards the net post over there. Now you want to have the momentum going in the direction you're actually serving in and this would happen only if he brings that back leg from this position now to a bit more aligned with the front foot so that he's able then to have that rocking motion of front foot, back foot, feet together for the pinpoint stands and the body weight then traveling in the direction that he's serving. So with Mark's foot positioning right now, because that back leg is quite far around, the feeling that I get is that the momentum wants to take him off to the right side of the court and I've always felt that this loses me power when I do bring this foot so far around to the left side of the court if I'm facing the net. So if I'm hitting a serve like so, it does give me a great shoulder turn and it allows me to really turn my hips but it blocks that momentum of really going through the court and that's what the pinpoint stance is all about. Now when I bring my feet more aligned and a little bit closer together, I've always felt that it really helps me get into that pinpoint stance really quickly and then get out as explosively as I can. And I've always felt that if I can get that back leg on the pinpoint stance joining the front foot really quickly, my serve has always been quite good when I've used that stance. So front foot, back foot together, drive. And that's the feeling I want to have front, back, front, drive. Once again, front foot, back foot, drive. And once I time that, I can feel the energy from the knees, from the legs, then driving up into the ball. So by changing that back foot slightly more in line, Mark's body weight is going to be going more into the ball, and he's also going to get there quicker if the feet are a little bit closer together. He's going to have that chance to go into a better knee bend and use those legs as explosively as possible. So that would be my main thing that I would work on with Mark, getting that right leg. Instead of going so far back this way, I'd get that right leg more aligned and also I'd bring it slightly closer to the left leg at the start. Now if you've got a really wide base to start with, it's really hard to time when you're going into that pinpoint stance, the momentum of going front leg, back leg, because that's what you want. You want to have that rocking motion when you are using the pinpoint stance. You want to have that feeling of starting on the front leg, coming back, so the weight transfer, front, back, feet together, and then that momentum pulling you into the court. Now if the feet are quite wide, it's hard to time that, and this leg has to travel quite a distance to then join the front leg. So it's easier if my legs are a little bit closer, and then that momentum is just slightly easier to time. Front foot, back foot, feet together. The quicker that Mark can get this back leg joining that front leg, the quicker he can go into a good knee bend and drive out from that explosive uh, position. If it takes him too long, he's never actually going to reach that position where he's balanced on both legs to drive up out of that pinpoint stance. So a really good way to measure it would be to have the toes of the back leg, which is my right leg, in line with the heel of my front leg. So this is not too major, it's not 100% in a line, it allows for a little bit more of a shoulder turn 
when you are starting that momentum and then coming together and when you do bring the feet together you want to achieve a position similar to this where my back foot is slightly behind the front foot so now some players do bring it in line some players will end up like so but the majority of players who use the pinpoint stands will have the back foot slightly behind and this will help with the shoulder turn and staying a little bit more side onto the net so a great drill for Mark or anyone who has a similar issue to work on just without the ball you're working on the alignment firstly being in the correct position and then seeing how quick you can bring that back leg forward into that pinpoint stand and then going into the knee bend so all I'm working on and this is something that I do a lot with my students when they do use the pinpoint stand I'll get them starting here coming back feet together so again body weights on the front foot back foot feet together front foot back foot feet together now some players do start with the body weight on the back foot this is something that even Isovic used to do you can see him in videos like so Sampras used to do this but he also used a platform stand so it was different but a pinpoint stance from here players do do it however I think you're losing that momentum of front back front you do start on the back leg so if you do start on the back leg that's absolutely fine all you have to work on then would be back leg feet together knee bend so again back leg feet together knee bend so the legs are what starts the kinetic chain from the ground up so the power is stored in the legs it drives through the trunk into the core into the upper body into the shoulder into the elbow into the forearm and then into the racket so that leg drive is so important to get that maximum power from your own serve so we have a drill that we can do with Mark he can go out and work on it on his own and he can send us the video in a couple of weeks to see if he's had any uh, improvements in that serve now once Mark has sorted out that back foot position and getting that back leg to join the front leg into the pinpoint stance much quicker the next step is then to make that knee bend and that leg drive more explosive now this is something that we've covered already in one of our previous videos on the serve and you can watch that free video by clicking this box right here I'll also leave the link under the video for people watching on a mobile device so you can click this box right here to watch that free video right away so the first one is having an obstacle quite low to the ground so these cones are only a couple of inches off the ground at most and I'm going to be hitting serves and trying to jump over these cones so I'm placing them slightly inside the court not too far because that will be unrealistic for most players but I'm placing them slightly inside and I want to be landing over the cones after my serve so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have please click that like button also share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from watching this video all the best guys and see you soon now if you want to improve your serve whether it's placement whether it's power uh, whether it's the technique or the movement of the serve we've got a course especially for you it's free so click here and join us now and we'll see you inside on lesson number one and if you're watching on a mobile click the link under this video that will take you to a page all you have to do is enter your email and we'll send you video number one right away